In video number one today, we had a heart to heart with brand new real estate agents. In this video, we're going to have a heart to heart and an adult conversation with brand new real estate investors and have this conversation and play the game of ping pong with me. We have Omar Afaro, uh, the real estate entrepreneur. How are you doing, sir? Good. What's happening, Michael? Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year, Michael. Let's crush it this year. There you go, man. So we uh, first conversation was great. We, <clears throat> we hopefully scared some real estate agents, scared them straight, if you will. Now let's mm -hmm. talk to real estate investors. What would you tell a brand new real estate investor? They have a job, they have the income, they can get a loan, so none of that stuff. But they're they're looking to get started in 2023 with their first or uh, next rental. Uh, what would you tell them? What's the first thing? So you're brand new. Do you own a house? I need to ask a couple questions. Do you own a house yet? Let's say no. Let's say no. Okay, no house yet. Okay. All right. So then your next step as a brand new investor, you want to get into the game, you need to make the decision if you want a home for you and the family mm. that will produce you zero money other than uh, forced appreciation down the, down the road yep. or stay where you're at and buy a rental property that will increase cash flow. So I those like are the that. two questions you have to ask yourself as a first-time investor, okay? Yeah. And when you buy a real estate, you're an investor, whether you're yeah. buying it for yourself or, or, or renting it out. I like that. And the reason being, well, th that's the first thing. You know what? Then I'll, I'll bounce it off yeah. of you, Michael, yeah. to add. So those are the two things that I want the first question to be asked. No, I think that's a genius move. And I'm glad I said no, because you're right. Uh, it's actually funny. Uh, on the Daily Financial News, I think it was last week, there was a term that I read that I'd never heard. It's called rent vester. Okay, what's uh -huh. a rent vester? It's essentially someone who lives in an expensive part of the market, like you and I live in, uh, like Orange County, Silicon Valley, <clears throat> New York, Miami. They're like, hey, I'm going to rent where I live, but I'm going to own rentals somewhere else. 100%. So I think that's right. That's a great decision. Now, for Olivia and I, we made the decision that we bought a home first. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't have to be the decision. I think that's a great first decision. Um, my first piece of advice for folks is you need to figure out what kind of real estate investor you're going to be because there's thousands of ways to make money in this business. And I think a lot of people get confused. Do you want to be a limited partner where you're investing in someone else? Uh, do you want to be a uh, self-manager? means you're going to be maybe investing nearby. Uh, do you want to invest out of state? What what kind of investor you're going to be? Um, because you can't be all things. Certainly at the beginning, no. you know, you're a real estate entrepreneur. You can have multiple streams, but dude, you can't start there. So I no might way. tell a new new person, kind of like your question, what do you want to do first? What's what's got you excited? So that's my first one. What do you got next? Okay. Um, do you want a um a single family mm. or do you want a duplex or a triplex or a fourplex? as your first investment. And before that, now, is this categorized, Michael, as um, if you wanna be an investor, is this categorized also as like, hey, can you wholesale some deals to sure. increase your capital? Yeah, sure. Okay, so the number one thing is obviously figuring out what you're gonna say to a, a motivated seller because that needs to be your next step. Okay, fine, you already, you wanna buy a rental property, cool. How are you going to get in front of someone? Yeah. We're talking about the end goal, but we haven't even, you know, crossed step one yet. Yeah. So my, my next thing is figure out who's doing the business in, in, in your area and, and pay for some coaching, cut the curve in half, mm -hmm. you know, follow Michael Zuber, you know, one rental at a time and gives yeah. you a, a, a breakdown of, like, hey, what's my next step? My daily discipline and knowing my market on where I want to invest at. Yeah. Because if you don't get the, I mean, I don't want to go too, too long about this, Michael, but I would say the next step is going to be get educated in your, in your market that you want to invest in and figure out a, uh, or gain a mentor so you can like role play because you've never talked to someone before. Yeah. I'm assuming how are you going to get someone to sell, to sell how, how are you going to get someone to, to have them sell your house or sell their house to you mm -hmm. to potentially buy a property. And this is only an investor. We're not talking about agents. We're not talking about nothing else. Yeah. Just purely investor. Yeah. I kind of want to piggyback on that one for my second yes. one. The, the thing that I should have done better that I, that I only realized was a mistake is 
I should have spent more time trying to figure out other investors because my market was two and a half hours away. And for five years, I kind of acted like I was the only person investing in Fresno. And it has a million people. That's clearly just not true. Right. I should have gone to Fresno real estate meetups or Central Valley meetups. I should have networked a lot more. I should have made myself available. Uh, that was a mistake. And again, if I was at the beginning and I knew what I wanted to do, I would actively seek. And now today it's much easier, right? Online, Zoom calls, bigger pockets, you know, meetup.com, all of these. All I that would, stuff. Yeah. I would purposely seek people that are active in my community because you never know where that one relationship, that one help. Uh, would be oh by the way tell everybody your buy box which will be my final one but yeah mm -hmm. it's um i should have actively seeked connections with people in my market because i think that would have saved my learning curve it would have helped me save money avoid mistakes um you know probably helped me avoid dishonest people because i would have asked for referrals uh so all that thing so bring us home omar what's the third and final piece of advice for brand new investors um, develop that network. Yeah. Develop the network. Piggybacking never stop. Off of, Just never, never stop. stop. Never because stop. Yeah. being an investor solo is one thing. You can't be an investor by yourself. You can't. You have to form a relationship with your hard money lender. You got to form a relationship with the person that's going to fix up the property, not unless you are. Mm -hmm. And if you are, that means just know that you're going to be doing one every quarter, one every year, potentially. So it's like, what part do you... You know, where do you want to scale at? So I would say develop the network and get around like the meetups and let people know that, hey, you come across some some buyers and then I'm going to sell them to Michael and make 10, 15K without flipping the house. Just here's a piece of paper. So yeah. you got to be really resourceful. But I think if you want to cut the curve in half or by 80%, spend the money on a mentor or education so you can learn a lot quicker than the person that doesn't hire the mentor or coach. Yeah. 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 So my final one, I kind of teased it. And my number two is a buy box, right? So you figure out what you're doing. You're getting around more people. The thing that is paramount step <clears> one <throat> of my course, how to get started one rental at a time is a buy box. Oh, by the way, I give it all away. There's a deep dive playlist on this channel with 90 minute discussion about buy box. But you oh, got to yeah. get laser focused. A buy box is so powerful, not only because it is focus, but it is also what not to look at. And I think most new investors get distracted. I want a three bedroom, two bath house. Well, why the hell are you looking at a condo? I want a three bedroom, two bath. Why the hell are you looking at a fourplex? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at this? Why are you looking at? They get all confused. And when you allow your mind to get confused, you don't learn. You don't get positive leverage. You don't build on things that allow you to make more informed decisions uh, down the line. So again, I think being a brand new real estate agent in, in this market, video one, being a brand new real estate investor, it takes time. It takes network. It takes focus and daily discipline. It's all wonderful things. Uh, protect your network, protect your mindset. And if you're down in Southern California, Omar, how would they reach out and follow you? Maybe even join your team. Guys, follow me on IG at invest with Omar or omaralfar.com. Hit that join team. And then I'll reach out to you. And if you're, uh, if you'll make the we'll team, then what? let's do it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, Omar. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you.